Hi, my name is Stein Hans and I am a marketing engineer here at Nesperia. And today we're going to talk about the history of Elephac. The Elephac technology was an engineering response to the anticipation of a new market demand in 1999 to 2001. Nesperia, then a part of Philips, together with other companies, foresaw the future requirements for ever smaller MOSFETs together with larger power requirements. Where at the time, MOSFET package technologies were largely based on wire bonded solutions, such as D2PAC and DPAC, the transition was now happening to copper clip solutions. What the LFPAC technology introduced uh, was a clip based design. This meant that instead of separate bond wires connecting the lead to the die, a large copper clip is attached to the silicon die on both the MOSFET, silicon source, and gate reducing the RDS on and improving thermal performance. LFPAC was designed with Gullowing leads to get exceptional PCB reliability, making it ideal for automotive applications. In 2002, LFPAC 56 was introduced as an alternative to DPAC, reducing board space by needed by 56%. And in 2019, LFPAC 88 was introduced as an alternative to D2PAC, reducing its board space requirement by 60%. Not only did Xperia invent LFPAC, now 20 years later, the LFPAC family has evolved to include LFPAC 33, LFPAC 56, 56 Dual, LFPAC 88, and CC Pack, with current ratings pushing 500 amps and qualification standards beyond AECQ 101, compelling other MOSFET manufacturers to introduce their LFPAC copies. For more details, please visit Xperia.com.